A day in a colonial child's life. No school? Sounds good. But children in the first settlement still had to learn how to read, write, and add. And they had to do it in between feeding chickens, working in the fields, churning butter, dipping candles, and watching their brothers and sisters. A lot of work. From the age of three, a child was expected to work around the house. Simple chores, such as wood gathering, kept little kids out of the way of busy moms and dads. For much of the day, kids rarely saw a grown-up. Girls learned how to cook and mend, keep a garden, and make medical potions. Boys learned how to build houses, clear fields, and shoot straight. They learned what they needed to know to survive. A little play. All work, no play? Of course not. Between all the chores and learning, there was still time to play games. Kids rolled hoops and played ring toss games. They played checkers with light and dark stones. There were dominoes made of wood and dolls to hug. Kids were still kids.